quick video it's that time of the year when you should be putting out your slug traps to protect your seedlings wow let's see this one looks the best you see I've got sunflowers out and sweet peas so yeah there's a nasty concoction of slugs in here which is great you can wear gloves if you want I'm not bothered and there's a slug there which hasn't quite went in for a drink well now we have give these a wash if you want I'm not particularly concerned about that so yeah there's some good soup there nice set that to one side I've got this this um, whatever it is Ashfield Tesco's bitter 25 pence a can top them up put them out close to your most prized possessions Um, like I say a pound for four cans how oh, can it can it go wrong especially when you've got uh, valuable plants and seedlings some of them are ones that you've had in your greenhouse for a long time I suppose these ones are the best you know you don't need to mess about making a lid for them Or fill them, let the slugs get right into them. I'm gonna to have to go to Tesco's and get another eight cans or so. I'll show you where I put them. one I did earlier I'm gonna put this one here this this is a damp area so as such it um, it gets a lot of slugs this one you just cover them over stops the rain getting in slugs can get in there fix that on better when I've got two hands so they um, the compost heap will readily dissolve these and add nutrients into your compost. I wouldn't put it on vegetables, but I don't I don't grow any vegetables, so. Although I'm going to grow some pak choy shortly in May because we've got a tortoise. I think about I think about these from the pound shop. Put them wherever wherever you want. Okay, that's it, guys. I'm going to crack on. Put them around me seedlings to protect them. This is part two, check out part one, which is my most watched videos uh, by Country Mail. And uh, leave a like, like, dislike, comment. Peace guys.